The first electric motor was built by Michael Faraday in 1821. In this video, we will show you a homemade version of the motor. The construction of Faraday's motor is simple. You need a plastic container and you will put a piece of aluminum foil in the container, like this. You also need neodymium magnets that should go in the center of the container. It is convenient to use a piece of metal and put it below the container so that the magnets can be fixed in place. We also need to hang a piece of copper wire in such a way that it can move freely. I have put a couple of clips in order to suspend the wire. This is another piece of copper wire that will serve to make one of the connections. The copper wire should go to a depth of about 10 to 15 millimeters below the neodymium magnets. We need to add salt water, which is a conductor of electricity. The water must cover the end of the copper wire. Add water up to a level just below the neodymium magnets. Now take a 9 volt battery and connect one terminal in this point and the other to the aluminum foil. And there you have the motor working. Faraday's motor is a type of homopolar motor. They work by the Lorentz force. When we have a current flowing through a conductor, the conductor feels a force if the conductor is immersed in a magnetic field in a direction perpendicular to the conductor. In this case, the force is in this direction. At any point, in the circle of rotation, the force will be in such a way that makes the conductor rotate counterclockwise. Of course, this depends on the polarity of the magnetic field and the direction of the current. If we swap the magnets and reverse the direction of the magnetic field, the wire will rotate on the other direction. This will also happen if we invert the polarity of the connections of the battery. 